have a seat and they will call you by your name, okay? First, the good Next news. More jobs were created last month than many expected, 171,000. Compared with earlier this year, it's a distinct improvement. But the percentage without jobs ticked up to 7.9 percent, and growth overall remains tepid. For the man seeking President Obama's job, this was a glass more than half empty. Unemployment is higher today than when Barack Obama took office. Think of that. But the president stressing private companies are now hiring at their fastest pace in eight months. We, we've made real progress, but we are here today because we know we've got more work to do. In an election where the economies trumped all the other issues, this last jobs report before election day was the top talking point, especially among those still looking for work. Obama has improved the job situation a lot, but it's only a start. There's a lot of jobs out there. I think we are getting better, even though the employment rates are up. I voted for him because I thought there was a lot of promise there, but I'm disappointed in how it's turned out. But did the numbers change many votes? According to the experts, probably not. I don't think these numbers changed the game at all. Uh, the voters have had an enormous amount of information about the economy, uh, which they've factored into their personal calculations and decisions. So depending on your candidate, it's still the best of times or the worst of times. Mark Smith, The Associated Press, The White House.